Let's open this thing up. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely glorious. Wireless vacuum probe. Testo 550i smart kit. Looks like this guy goes right in there maybe. Maybe not. Maybe so. I like how everything's laid out in here. It's a nice solid hook. Yeah, I could just throw these right in my back pocket and go fix stuff. All I need is this, a meter, a nine and one, and shoot, I can fix anything. Although this is super weird because there's no display. It feels like I could drop this off a roof and it would probably hold That's up. It. That's a good solid spring right there. Check out our air probes. You know, it feels like you could just stab somebody with this. Not that that's what we're going to do, but overall, I think it's a solid product so far. So all we got to do next is see if it is user friendly and if it's actually good at doing its job. So we'll see you guys in the field. All right. All right, let's check out these new goodies we got here. Smart digital manifold with vacuum. Looks like it comes with two temperature clamps. 605i smart probe. 605i smart probe. Up to 350 feet. By opening this upside down. It's kind of odd. I guess I am. Normal latches open from the bottom. But these open from the top. First impression is it is small. The knobs are a little bit small, but the whole thing is small. I do like the forward facing storage for the quarter inch hoses. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Pull that out. Let's see if now it works. Look at that. So the screen reminds me of, is that the English? Why is it not working? Oh, it's not a touch screen. It looks like a Game Boy. Do I have to hit enter? For increased functionality, please download the Testo Smart app. Okay, I'm gonna try that. One thing I gotta say is, I, do, I think I like this hook better. I could figure this out. Enter. We're just doing a pressure test. Um, pressure test. 10 minutes, 35 seconds in. Well, that was anticlimactic. One thing that I'm used to using is, where is it? Something like this, micron gauge adapter, which it gives you an extra leak point. This one's made by Appian. Um, you don't need it with this. It's pretty cool. I do like that. Let's start this test here. We're gonna go to evacuation. Um, start. What's going on here? Oh, I didn't even start the test yet. But I'm already at 815 microns. This, I think, is on, is it? It's hard to see, but it's on. Um, I'll show you how far of a walk this is. This is connected right now. So this is at my truck here. And this is the walk. And I was seeing this, watching the vacuum. So let's see, we have, it shows two Bluetooth devices connected. Let me try to hold this down and shut it off. Is it off? One device connected. That's pretty cool. 
that's a far Bluetooth connection. I like that a lot. That's pretty sick. My last thought is I do like how everything fits in the case. It has its own little spot, works very well. Um, the case in general though, it's super cheap. This thing's gonna break. These latches are gonna break. It would be nice to get a heavier, you know, a little more of a rigid case. Um, but that is it. back over time guys not this time boys let's make sure It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right, guys, I got this heat pump here. I was doing an evacuation on it and my battery ran out. While that's charging, I'll uh, show you a little bit about this gauge. I never had a Tesla, to be honest with you, so this is pretty cool to me. I used them, but I never owned one. I'll show you some things. Let's talk about these Tesla 115i temperature probes. They're a little bit bigger than I expected, but the cool thing about them is they use a thermistor. So the guys in the field that work on geothermal, heat pumps, hydronics, it could come in handy. You could use it on plastics, iron. Essentially, it's using resistance to relate to temperature, so you can use it on any surface. As you see, one is on. You can see it right there. And you can also go to your menu, measuring mode. Let's go down to delta. And you will see them there as well. As you see, it's one click to be put on. You don't hold it. So the guys like me that keep these in a bag, you gotta be careful. They will go on pretty easy. I wanna talk about these Testo 605i thermal hydrometers. They're pretty neat. Nice swivel, nice magnet, twist to expose the element. And in your manifold, Menu, measuring mode again, target superheat, enter, and you select smart probe, enter, and in the back you have a corresponding number, 464, push OK, go down, push OK, and you see target superheat and the numbers corresponding at the top. Now, the only downfall of these are you're restricted. The 605i, you can only do target superheat with your manifold. So if you wanna monitor your delta underneath a load, volume, and so on, you can only do it with the Testo app. This is not a fully standalone manifold. You gotta turn it off. You don't want the Bluetooth fighting because they will fight each other. Open up the app and you could do many more things. All right guys, so I started my evacuation again. I'm using the Testo 552i vacuum probe, and I'll show you how I hooked up to this manifold. Let's go back here. Let's go to evacuation. Now, you can set your target and your DK maximum target. I usually put mine around 200 and 500, but for demonstration purposes, it's cold, I'm cold, the shop is not the warmest, we're just going to push OK. We'll put it to 10, 20, 1500. And I'll show you how it plots it on the graph when I start my DK test. Let's assume this met the target. We're going to close the source. And we're going to start the DK test. Let me shut this off. And as you can see, it plotted my graph. So if this was in normal conditions, the top one would be at 500. 
and the lower one will be at 200. And you're going to see how it plots out in the middle of the graph. Now it would be super cool, awesome, if it was like the blue vac and it beeped when it met the target. It beeped if it passed and it did the DK test for you. So as you see, it's plotting out on the graph. So we're going to stop it there. My reviews, I'm going to base it on five things. Is it aesthetically pleasing? Does it do its job? Does it do it well? Is it user friendly? Or do I have to read the manual and become an engineer just to know how to use it? How does it feel as far as quality? Does it feel like it's going to hold up? And last but not least, where does it fit? How does it fit on my, my van? Does it fit my tool bag? Obviously this won't fit my tool bag, but this is something that I would say, um, how does it fit on my shelf? Right off the bat, I don't like the handle. It's thin, flimsy. It's just kind of sewn onto this uh, kind of a uh, modified cardboard case. I would prefer a shoulder strap and a more rugged handle. I feel like this is going to, yeah, that's going to rip off at some point in time. Let's open this guy up. All right, real time here, guys. So real quick, while we got everything open, let's go over uh, how they feel. This is a nice hunk of metal, nice and solid. I like this hook. I like how the hook stays in place on the back. My regular uh, Testo 550s, the hook kind of flops around. I don't like that. Check this guy out. Again, it's it feels solid. It's it's like a nice thick rugged plastic. Plastic is pretty thick. Feels like it's feels like it's pretty solid. The only thing I'm initially leery about is the length of this handle. Um, I feel you may run into some spots where that's going to be hard to clamp onto things. Maybe ice machines. Um, little condensing units that are stuffed up underneath counters inside restaurant kitchens and whatnot. Check this guy out here. Multi-positional, that's cool. I like that. It's got a magnet in there, that's cool too. It's got a little, let's see if we can uh, focus in on this. Looks like you can turn this and expose the actual sensor. It's like a little cover to keep the sensor out of harm's way. Yeah, I don't really like the way the case is built or the material is built out of. It seems flimsy. Um, I prefer a nice rugged hard plastic case for these, these tools. But I do like the interior layout. I like the foam, the recessed spots for all the, uh, the various components. I don't like the, the crisscross applesauce thing that this Nintendo 64 controller is held in too. It, it seems, I don't know, it seems messy and weird. I don't really, I don't really dig that. Uh, aesthetically, I like the colors. Black and orange, that's my jam. So I like the colors. It's aesthetically pleasing. I like the size of this. Quality is there. I don't like the case. However, it will fit on my shelf with relative ease. So it's got some things going for it. Now, let's power it on, see if it's user friendly and see how well it actually does its job. Got my clamp on the liquid line, clamp on the suction line, come out here. I got a temperature probe sticking up to uh, measure our ambient air temperature. Check this out right here. Now as you know these these fancy manifold gauges didn't come with the display so I kind of made my own. So there we go. Temperature, 37 degrees outside here. Uh, let's see, high side pressure 120. Low side pressure is five. We're currently pumped down. Now this system, I'm really just kind of commissioning this system. There's a, a little bit of a leak, which I've already found and addressed, but uh, I just wanted to play around with this tool here. 
works much better now that it's got a screen mounted to it. So anyway, as far as this thing being user friendly, it was very user friendly. I literally just turned these on, pulled the little uh, plastic thing out that blocks the uh, the battery, uh, just turned them on and they basically automatically connected to my tablet. Once you download the app, of course. Uh, it's, very, it's a very, very easy, easy, easy process. And as far as it doing its job so far, it's, it's doing its job just fine. Even the app is user friendly. You don't need to be an engineer to go through this. Not saying that it's dumbed down, but it's it's a very well-rounded, simple app to use in this application. So, so I'm all set here, got it all put away. Like I said earlier, the hoses can't be attached to the manifold when you go to put it away. The thing that concerns me is, okay, I can put caps on these, that's not a big problem, but you have to put the short caps on here and they, once you put the caps on here, the manifold doesn't fit in there. It's kind of tight. It pushes up against the manifold because if you don't cover these caps, or if you don't cover these ports, you're going to run the risk of getting dirt or pieces of foam inside your manifold. So you always have to keep caps on there. I have to get a cap for this one, of course. Um, and then the other thing I was kind of curious about is actually storing my hoses inside the case, but that's, I mean, that's actually impossible. There's no way to do this. So, so you have to uh, apparently store your refrigeration hoses separate from the manifold itself, which uh, to me adds another step and it's kind of cumbersome. All right, guys, quick recap. So I don't like the case. Like I said, overall, this thing is very user friendly. Like I said, it just plugs and play. You just turn it on and away you go. It connects real easily. Uh, it seems to be built out of good quality materials. Aesthetically, it's pleasing. Even though I don't like the case, it does fit neatly onto my shelf. Um, and as far as I can tell, it does its job pretty well. I'm reading pressures, temperatures. The, uh, the temperature sensors themselves immediately adjusted from ambient temperature to line temperature. So overall, I'm pleased with the product. So take that for what it's worth to you guys, and we'll see you on the next one, all right?